Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Kermit Trent. Today is Monday, that means it's mini Monday madness time and we're doing, painting some quick, easy, fun, abstract watercolor tutorials today. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave in the comment section. I throw you for a curveball on the bottom part today, so look and you will see. Okay, so we're going to go for supplies again, like I always do. Um, two three inch by three inch square arches, 100% cotton paper, because I'm going to do a wet and wet technique. You might, you're going to need this kind of paper today. Um, my paints, my paper towels over here. Can't really see it. It's here. Water jars are up here. I'll go with the paints as I use them. I'm just using a, a two H pencil and a ruler just to mark off um, three quarters of the way down from the top. Just a line going across the two pieces of paper. A late line, just to give you a guide of the horizon. I mean, this paper's a little, this one's not exactly square. It's a little diagonal, but that's okay. So, we're gonna start by doing our little wet and wet technique. So the guide is like just for the bottom part, like I said. So, I'm gonna mix up some paint. I'm gonna start with Taking, well actually, what I need to do is activate my colors. How I do that? I just take this little squeeze bottle and I go in here and I squeeze in some water. Um, you can use a spray bottle too, but I like this better because it makes it looser faster. And I'm gonna mix up some bright light, light greens and yellows. And this is gonna be a colorful kind of um, mini landscape. I'm grabbing some of this lime yellow. It's a dark yellow. I need to buy some paints this week and some paper. I am fresh out. I am working on my last piece of paper. Yes. I've told you guys forever that I get the um, Arches Cotton paper from Dick Blick. I find it's the cheapest place to get it. You could use it, get it at Michael's if you have a coupon, but Dick Blick, I think it's always like $17 or something for the pad. Whereas Michael's, you know, I think it comes a little bit more expensive. I'm not sure. Um, I'm mixing up a medium green. So I mix up some hooker's green and some medium green. Throwing in there. I am going to take my medium red. And I'll be purchasing some new paint, I think, this week. I think I'm going to upgrade myself to some whole mine and to some other colors maybe um, I don't know if I'll do Windsor and Newton professional but maybe something like that okay and just this is a blue that I had from my other tutorial yes to the tropical beach and I'm just gonna muddle that with whatever paint was on my brush so it's like a bluish gray which is fine I'm gonna take a little more burnt amber and stick it in this green I like this green's brownish. So, this is going to be fun and easy. For the brush, whatever brush you have, obviously, if you don't have the brushes that I have, I think I want to start with my Grumbacker 10. This is the guy that I used to use a lot, right? And I'm going to get some nice water on the brush, and I'm just going to put it across from the horizon line that we see here. Fill it in. You also need to have like a either a credit card, an old credit card, or hard card stock piece of card. Um, we're going to use to make the, the trees. So I'm just getting this wet, and I'm going to go in and grab this dark green. I'm just going to dab it like so in here. over in here what you kind of doing on this side you want to do on this side because it's like a, a, you know a, a dual painting I'm just dabbing in some green in here you can get it even darker just throw in the dark green pay, pay no attention to that noise outside my studio it seems no matter how I tried, it just won't stop with the noise. 
everywhere. I'm going to grab some of this yellow and go in here. Somebody's always doing some kind of lawn situation. So even if I'm just doing, doing a voiceover, you're going to hear it because I don't have a studio that has no sound. So we're taking the yellow and mixing it in here. See, it's this limey green yellow. Going back in here with the, the green. Take some of this medium green. Just going to dab it in here. Going to keep a space in between. So we're doing like two landscapes basically. Keeping a white space in between. Keep dabbing that. And we're going to grab some of this medium red. Just going to tap that in. I don't know what they're doing outside my studio, but I'm just annoyed. <laughs> Perfect timing, isn't it? Oh well, maybe you don't even hear it, but I do. And it just annoys me. So I'm just tapping in some of this red. I'm getting my paintbrush a lot more water on it. Letting that bleed. I'm gonna grab some of this um, ultramarine blue too. This is an abstract. It's not something that's serious. A little turquoise too. I'm throwing in the blue in over here. On each side. Really just want to get this different color of greens. I'm just mixing in, you know, don't have to follow the greens. You're just dabbing in so it looks like little leaves or funky leaves, colored trees. Just dab it in there. And the red is just for a, a bright color to have. So we're just dabbing. And grab some of that blue. And you grab a little indigo. Get a little darker on this side and this side. Just playing around with this. And I want to grab a little more, put, put a little more paint down here. Wet paint. Grab some of the yellow. Just making like these bright yellow leaf greens. And then we're going to use our card. So it's fairly wet. You can still go in in here and add some more dark blue if you want. Some dark green. So I'm just dabbing it in. Dab, 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 dab. Mixing in the color. A little more dark here and there. All right, you get the point. <laughs> the trusty old credit card. And actually, if you don't like the white space like that, you can go in and grab some more yellow and just fill it in a little more. And I just have little pe little bits of white poking through, like you're coming out of the forest kind of situation. Okay, so we take it, the corner, and then zoom in. And we're going to scrape it up. Look at that. You got a tree! And the paint might try and go in it, but we're going to keep doing that again. Look at that. That's a little wider tree. <laughs> and then you do the branches. Isn't this fun? Come on. You wipe it off in your paper towel too, by the way. Scrape off the paint, wipe it on the paper towel. Get those branches in there. Now if it starts to go back in, you can try and scrape again. But be careful because it's going to, it might wreck the paper a bit. Yeah, there goes the noise. These people and their stinking damn stuff. Okay, here we go on the side. 
You want to make it a little bit wider if you can, because that paint's coming back in there. It's pretty wet. I like the way the noise makes, huh? That great sound. It's just fun, isn't this? Making the trees! this fun. Just a fun way to make the trees. I could do this all day. <laughs> okay, I digress. Now down below it could be a reflection in water. Um, it doesn't have to be. It could be just be greenery. You can have it like a um, like walking through the woods. Let's try and do a little reflection in the water. Right? So you're going to have this being the opposite. I'm still going to keep it that way. We'll do a little red reflection. Take the red paint. And I'm going to grab some of this blue that I have here. It's, uh, it was turk, ultramarine, it's kind of like a muddy turquoisey blue. Wet on dry. I'm just gonna go like this. Like I said, it's an abstract, so just a fun little abstract. Try and keep a little white in the middle. Do the little lines going across. Get the blue next to the red a little bit. And you can um, grab your, I'm going to tilt it, let me zoom back out. Tilt it a little bit and grab some of this wet on your brush. I switched my brush, by the way, which I, I, don't, I didn't mention that. It was a Princeton 8 long round, just because it makes the, the point grab into that center easier. Grab some of the green paints, try and bleed a little bit of that going down. You're trying to mimic what you did up top, just a little bit. I'm grabbing some of the indigo. It's got to be wetter than that. Just a little bit. I'm going to bleed down a little bit. And some of the greens. Just going to tap that from the line down. A little indigo in there. And this one had the red, so clean your brush off. Try and get that red in there. If it's too wet, it's going to drip down like that. It's not going to be great. We're just playing around with it, just getting a little reflection. Don't have to go to town with it too much. Playing, you know, manipulating with your brush, just moving a paint around like this. Just pushing it downward. So it's a little bit of a reflection. I tend not to be so serious with the reflections. It's just an abstract. See? Kind of mimicking the color a little bit. doesn't have to look great, you know what I mean? If you want to go back in and add some of the, the water lines going across, just like that. You 
you can do that. But this is an abstract, like I said. It's not serious. We're just having fun with these little mini paintings. And if you didn't want to do the water, you can just do all like a ground. You know, we can just cover this right now, right? So you can do reflection or say, hey, I hate it. Let's paint over it. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to paint over it. Yep, so ha ha ha. Scared you, didn't I? I'm going to grab my Princeton 8 long round and go right over that with the green. Fill it right in. Mm hmm. I'm not crazy. I'm going to grab some burnt umber, some black, some more hocus green, and go in there. See that? And hold it up again and let it bleed down. On that one. See, it's a nice bleed down it's doing. So, like, it's bleeding right downward. Add a little more paint. And I'm going to add some bright green down here. So, we totally changed that, didn't we? <laughs> we are sneaky. Well, what I did there, I got to do here, right? So. Changing it. So those who wanted to keep the reflection, keep the reflection. Those who want to be crazy like me and just throw everybody over the curve and paint it in the ground, do like I do. So I'm going to take that bright number, little black, and some green. Have it bleed right down. You can grab some indigo. Change that one up a little more. Grab some indigo over here too. Look at that. It's an abstract. So then when that's done, that part, you can go back in um, to your where your trees are. You can put a little line next to them, highlighting them. Just like so. And or you take some dry, like darker greens. I have the hocus green mixed in with those colors I had before. And go in and put some real leaves, extra dark leaves in here. Go on top of the, the tree. You're just dabbing it with your pen and your paintbrush. Just a little bit of darker leaves. Loosely. See, I'm just pushing that color in there. I'm just changing up the whole thing. Some more of this dark green in here. Leaves. And I can grab the yellow. Get a really bright green going in here too. Just fill that in. Or just take the yellow itself and go on top of the green. And I'll brighten it right up. You can make a little road if you want. 
See, I'm just wiping away that paint. And then fill it in with the yellow. So like the sunlight was coming through that area. Just playing around, you know, you don't have to do that. Take a paper towel and just wipe it like that. Right? Now that bright green going across. It's all about trial and error. How you feel about how it looks at the time. See? Just gonna keep pulling that out. So that looks kind of cool. I might do the same thing here. Get this wet. And take that paper towel. Give it that shine look. Take the paper, get it wet again. Go right over that. Look at that. I think that's kind of cool. Grab that yellow. Woo! Bright yellow. There you go. Now, the moment of truth. Lift it up. What do we have? Whoops. <laughs> By the way, I used that uh, Scotch Magic Tape to put tape down. It does a really good job. It's fairly sticky, as you can hear. Um, I've shown a million times how I make it slightly not sticky. I put it on my clothes and then I tape it down. It really lifts up the, pa uh, the cardboard, but it doesn't really damage the paper too much. Oh, come on, the reveal. Ah, cool, huh? And you got these two mini, oops, let me zoom in again, abstracts. Shining in the woods. I think it's kind of cool. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed my little thrown in, oops, not reflection. Now it's the grass. <laughs> and you can go and put little flowers in here. You know, change it up. Have a good time with it. So I hope you enjoyed this abstract tutorial of my mini Monday madness. Because, you know, it's madness on Monday. Uh, thank you for stopping by my channel. Thanks for all your support. I appreciate it. And take care, guys, and have a great day.